Hi there, Doug Stewart with IT Creations. This week we'll be taking a look at the new and improved Gen 14 version of one of Dell's most popular workhorse servers, the Dell EMC PowerEdge R740XD. This is one of Dell EMC's most popular chassis configurations for its performance and scalability. It features a 2U two-socket chassis but packs more storage, memory, and NVMe options than the PowerEdge R740. Let's take a look. The PowerEdge R740 XD server can adapt to a variety of workloads including software-defined storage, use as a big data server, data analytics, and as a data tier for service providers. What's new on the system? Support for up to 24 NVMe storage devices, support for up to 6 GPUs, enhanced security, improved management with iDRAC 9.0 with lifecycle controller, and the new Intel Xeon scalable processors delivering 27% more cores and a 50% increase in bandwidth over the previous generation Xeon processors. We also have one of the cool new locking honeycomb bezels that has an integrated InSight display screen so you don't have to remove the bezel for system status. You can load either one or two of Intel's Xeon scalable family of processors from bronze, silver, gold, or platinum. But given the performance capabilities and intended workload, I can imagine that most will opt for performance processors in the gold or platinum category to take advantage of the high core count, processor speed, memory, and storage support. The system supports DDR4 memory modules, including registered DIMM modules, load-reduced DIMM modules, and non-volatile NVDIMM-N modules, with memory speeds of up to 2666 MHz. Storage options include SAS, SATA, Nearline SAS, and NVMe drives for super-fast storage. Did you know IT Creation sells high-end servers, professional workstations, and components? For a limited time, you can save up to $250 off the purchase of one of these new Gen 14 servers with a list price of $5,000 or more. If you're interested, give us a call or click this link to see more information on this system and pricing. And now, back to the review. And there are quite a few storage configurations on this system, starting with the base configurations of front accessible drives that support either 12 3.5 inch SAS, SATA, or nearline SAS drives, a 24 bay system that supports 2.5 inch SAS, SATA, or nearline SAS, another 24 bay chassis that supports up to 24 2.5 inch NVMe drives, and a combo chassis that features 12 SSDs or HDDs on the left and 12 NVMe drives on the right. Depending on the base configuration, you can add even more storage with an optional internal mid-tray storage bracket that straddles the processors and memory modules. The mid-tray can be outfitted with either four 2.5 inch or four 3.5 inch SSDs or HDDs, or a mix of the two. Another optional mid-tray can accommodate up to three 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch drives plus an NVMe storage device and an optional NVDIMM battery to support the NVDIMM end modules. The battery can be installed on the regular air shroud and the 3.5 inch mid-tray storage bracket, but not the 2.5 inch mid-tray. Keep in mind, if for whatever reason you want to use 2.5 inch drives and need the capacitor for NVDIMMs, you can go with the 3.5 inch mid-tray storage and use some 3.5 inch drive adapters for the 2.5 inch drives. There's even more options for storage with rear-mounted drive carriers that come in two flavors to support either two 3.5-inch drives or four 2.5-inch HDDs or SSDs. This particular system we have here today features dual scalable 6130 gold processors, which have 16 cores each and 22 megabytes of L3 cache. The 6130 gold processors on this system have three UPI channels. Other processors in the gold family have only two. And with all the non-volatile storage and memory options available on the R740XD, that extra UPI channel means significantly more throughput for performance applications. This CPU also supports memory speeds of up to 2666 MHz, which is essential to take advantage of the top memory speeds offered by top-tier memory modules. The R740XD will support up to 1.5 terabytes of memory using 64 gigabyte memory modules, or up to three terabytes using 128 gigabyte modules. Six memory channels are allocated to each processor and support two memory modules in each channel. For optimal memory performance in a two-processor configuration, 12 memory modules are distributed evenly between the processors and are populated in the white slots only. If mixing memory modules have different capacities, Dell recommends installing the higher capacity memory modules in the white slots and the lower capacity memory modules in the black slots. With the two scalable gold 6130 processors in our configuration here, we have 12 16 gigabyte DDR4 registered DIMM modules in the white slots, a configuration recommended by Dell for performance applications. A minimum of one or a maximum of 12 NVDIMM-N modules can be installed in the system, but must be paired with a minimum of 12 RDIMM modules. In addition, NVDIMM modules can only be installed in a two-processor configuration. You may be asking yourself at this point, how do the NVDIMM-N modules work? Because I know I was. In a nutshell, it has a combination of DDR4 DRAM paired with NAND flash component. DRAM is volatile and will very quickly lose data when power is removed. NAND is non-volatile, so when power is removed, it will still retain the data indefinitely. The DRAM component allows the processor to recognize the module as an RDIMM module. 
NVDIMM N modules rely on an integrated NVDIMM controller to transfer data from DRAM to NAND flash, and a power voltage regulator that's connected to an internal battery with power delivery integrated into the system board. If power is interrupted, the battery will power the DRAM component for a little over a minute, enabling the NVDIMM N controller to transfer memory to the NAND flash component. It doesn't matter if you have a single NVDIMM module or 12 NVDIMMs installed. All modules run in parallel and will transfer all data from DRAM to flash within about a minute. And whether you install a single NVDIMM module or 12, you still need to pair that with 12 RDIMM modules. This system has six 2.5 inch 300 gigabyte SAS HDDs with 12 gigabit per second throughput distributed throughout the chassis, with two in front, two in the mid tray, and two in the rear 2.5 inch drive carrier, both of which have their own hot swap backplane. Clearly there is still plenty of room for more storage with 24 empty storage bays. A Perk H730P HD RAID controller supports up to 255 HDDs or SSDs at 3, 6, or 12 gigabit per second, along with 2 gigabytes of non-volatile cache memory powered by an integrated battery pack. It's a low-cost performance option originally designed for the Gen 13 Dell servers and provides enhanced I.O. for applications in database and streaming digital media environments. Of course, Dell also created a new and improved Perk H740P HD RAID controller that offers more cache at 4 gigabytes or up to 8 gigabytes with a firmware update. Also supported is a brand new 12 gigabit per second HBA and an H840P external RAID controller that can support up to 255 drives. The new and improved integrated S140 internal storage controller offers software RAID. The backplane for the front mounted drives on this system is designed to support up to 12 standard HDDs or SSDs on the left and up to 12 NVMe storage devices on the right. NVMe storage devices are designed for low latency and high I.O. operations per second. There are six PCIe HD connectors on one side of the front backplane that each control two NVMe drives. Cables run from the PCIe connectors on the backplane and connect in a, to a PCIe card in one of the expansion slots. NVMe drives support orderly hot swap removal, meaning you need to notify the system first that the device is about to be removed, prior to removing the device. NAND SSDs also have a finite number of program array cycles that are monitored by the Dell software management applications, which will notify you when these limits are reached. An optional boot optimized storage system, or BOSS, is a PCIe card with up to two M.2 storage devices. If you need all your front mounted, mid tray, and rear mounted drives, the BOSS can support the OS with hardware RAID ensuring fail safe OS protection. Same with an optional internal dual SD card module with vFlash. It sits in a proprietary slot on the motherboard and features three SD cards total. Two for fail-safe hypervisor support when used in mirror mode and an additional vFlash card that works with the enterprise update to iDRAC. Just about everybody has a smartphone, unless you've been living under a rock, and Dell has taken advantage of that with the iDRAC Quick Sync 2 module, which works in conjunction with the OpenManage mobile app. Previously on the Dell 13 servers, Quick Sync was integrated into the Quick Sync bezel and communicated with iDRAC through an NFC-capable Android mobile device or tablet, but it only worked with Android devices. Quick Sync 2 has been completely redesigned and works with both Android and iOS devices using Bluetooth Wi-Fi. iDRAC Quick Sync 2 with OpenManage Mobile enables administrators to securely and wirelessly manage the system on-site, including deploying bare metal servers, updating, monitoring, and troubleshooting. OpenManage Essentials one-to-many console can also be accessed directly at the server via a PC or again using a mobile device outfitted with the OpenManage mobile app. Plus, QuickSync 2 is now integrated into the rack here so you don't need to purchase the bezel, but the new bezel does look pretty cool. OpenManage also grants access to Dell's remote access controller console for quick remote or local access to the system through the command line or from a standard web browser. Among other things, the remote access control console allows you to review server details, check logs, health status, configure IP BIOS, and remediate potential problems with the system. Security has been updated with a cyber resilient architecture that's integrated into the hardware and firmware, covering the life cycle of the server from start to finish. Some of the features include component protection from the factory to the data center, cryptographically signed firmware, secure boot, server lockdown to prevent changes to the firmware, and secure erase to more quickly and completely erase data from all storage and memory devices on the system. There are up to eight expansion slots on the server with the addition of three separate risers. Of course, if you have additional storage cages mounted in the back, like on our chassis here, then only three PCIe slots are available because the drive cage occupies both the number two and number three riser slot positions. The network daughter card included with this system features four ports total, two 10 gigabit per second and two one gigabit per second ports. With network communications handled through the NDC, you have choices for more ports at faster connection speeds. You can install up to eight PCIe add-on NIC cards for some very impressive throughput, but it really depends on your workload because the system will also support up to six single-width GPUs or three double-width GPUs with two processors installed. 
And then there's the mass storage options, which will take away more than half of those PCI slots. The Dell EMC PowerEdge R740XD is an impressive piece of hardware with a high density architecture that's capable of supporting just about any workload. The potential for massive throughput ensures you can take advantage of the supported NVMe drives and NVDIMMs. Even without the non-volatile storage and memory options, the system has a very impressive set of features and you can pack in a whole lot of storage in this 2U case. I hope you liked our review of the R740XD and if you did, give us a thumbs up. There are certainly a few more things we didn't go into, but if you have any questions, you can post them in the comments section below. Also, given the new servers and workstations coming out from Dell, HPE, HP, and Lenovo, you might want to subscribe to our channel. And if you're looking for IT hardware, professional workstations, or components, check out itcreations.com. Well, that's it for this week. I'm Doug Stumann with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.